All right, Dr. T, uh, I think the easy thing to do is to make a video to show you how to implement both, uh, both the code and uh, how to get your model to do what you wanted it to do. Uh, so obviously to use the R code, you need R installed on your machine. Uh, you can use this website right here, and I'll put this in the description of the video. Uh, but you could just go there, and, the, and it, this is the page it opens. You click right here, and it'll download the 300 megabytes worth of uh, stuff you need. Install that. It'll take 20 minutes. Uh, and then you need to go to this site here, uh, and you can just Google download RStudio. Uh, this is a RStudio page. You see uh, there's a lot of options, but RStudio Desktop is what we're using. You just click on that. It'll download again, probably two or three hundred megabytes, or probably even smaller, uh, something comparable to these, and uh, and then install that. When you get that installed, uh, you just need to. Oh, okay. Before you open it, here I'm looking at the folder that I sent you. So when you uh, unzip that, you need to put it in your C drive. So here's tlock underscore las, and this is what opens up. Here is the R file, um, but for some reason my machine won't open it directly. So I'll just open up R. Just bear with me real quick, it's a little slow. All right, now obviously, uh, tlock underscore las isn't going to open up in yours but you just go right here to open up and then you just browse to it c underscore there's your folder select it and then it would open but here i'm going to cancel it because mine's already open uh, so since you're a first timer um, you won't just be able to hit this run automatically because there's these two packages that need to be installed on your machine. So probably you should do this manually, but all you have to do is just put the cursor on the line you want to run, hit control enter, and it'll run that line, get what it needs, install it, and you'll be good to go. Um, and do the same for this. And then from here, I'm just going to walk you through real briefly what's going on here. Uh, and again, this, you, you could just run this probably, and uh, those would just install themselves. So really, you don't even have to walk through this um, if you can just run it. Uh, but this path here is the folder that I gave you that you put on your C drive. So we just set that to be our workspace here. This line here is the database file that is the list of all of the LAZ files that we want, or the LAS files we want. Here I've extracted out the 3,800 or so that intersect our seven county area. So I just feed that to R and here I open it up. And if you want to have a look at it, you can see that down here on this bottom screen. This is that, uh, this is that table, a few columns here. And one of the columns is the pathway or the, the, UL, uh, the URL that goes to that file. So if you open this browser and you put in that address, it's going to automatically start, start downloading that tile. Uh, so, all right, so what we want to do is create a list of those, create a list of the tile names, and then here I got a loop that will loop through all 3,800 file names. Uh, but for sake of time, I've limited it to the, only the first five. So here now I run the loop. You see this little stop symbol? That means it's busy and it'll be with you momentarily. So you can see here what's happening. Uh, I entered in a little part so to give you a little bit of feedback so you know what's going on. It's downloading this tile right now from this site. And then here it, it pretty much uh, it lets you know what kind of progress it's making. Now this is going to take two or three minutes uh, to run, so I, I, I won't keep you the whole time. But here, uh, now if, if we look, now again, this is a folder that I gave you that you unpacked and put in your C drive. If we look now in LAS tiles, here are those files as they're being downloaded. Um, so now this folder here, this is the workspace that you're going to want to point your model to and have it circulate through. Uh, 
The next video I'm going to make uh, is going to pick up here uh, in ArcGIS with the model, and uh, I'm going to help you build that model real quick. So uh, I hope this video helps a little bit. Uh, if not, uh, we'll try something different.